Yo, what up guys, Old School Dan here and welcome to my series of training secrets better than steroids. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to grow your biceps with old school techniques that work incredibly well for guaranteed results. Because old school is literally the only thing of training I can always rely on, always trust to guarantee me results because if those guys, if those guys did it before our time and they had less equipment, less science, and they increased and achieve incredible results, it'll work today, guaranteed. All right, so in this video, I wanna talk about biceps, how to really maximize your growth, the growth in your biceps. So, bodybuilder Steve Reeves, you know, if you guys didn't read his book, he he, has a, he had a machine, in, or it's more of like a bench, a bench in his basement, his gym, where it was an incline bench, right? And when you look at typical incline benches, you see, you know, they, they look like regular incline benches, right? But his was special. He had a specially, specially designed machine for him, for himself. What it had, what it consisted of, was basically a brace, and a brace. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. A brace right where the elbows go. The reason being is because biceps. The trick, the number one trick, is all in the elbows. That's all it is. All in the elbows. Keep the elbows still and you will see lots of growth. That's exactly why he built that part in his incline bench. Right here, there's like a brace that would go right here so that when he would do the um, incline incline curl, and this is, it's a movement he he saw great results from. That's why he always did it. It's sort of, a lot of people started copying him too. A lot of people started to see that he was developing this, you know, this incredible upper chest development, that square chest development. And everybody was like, how the heck are you doing that? And he was like, incline bench, I just do a lot of it. And people started to mimic a lot of his movement because they wanted that Reeves, you know, look, because it, it, it worked. You, Steve Reeves knew it worked and um, people copied it because it worked. So people started to copy that he started doing incline bench, but he took it a step further because he was, he was sort of what you call an innovator, you know, always changing the game, making things different and better. Kind of like Vince Gironda. Um, because you know, Vince, you know, Steve Reeves had his own method when it came to full body training. Shoulders, chest, back, biceps, triceps, that because it makes sense into the whole um, you know, blood flow and whatnot. But anyways, this video is about biceps, I digress. He built the part to keep the elbow still and he and it gave him incredible result, results. Now, how do we mimic this movement since not, not a lot of us can afford to really or even know how to how to build such a you know such a uh, machine or uh, bench? What we do is that you see this is this video is for people who have a hard time getting their biceps to grow like people complain they get lots of emails and messages saying hey you know Dan I can't get my biceps to grow like what's wrong the thing is that you really need to isolate those arms and now I start to understand and you will under, soon understand why Larry Scott loved the uh, preacher curl machine so much the preacher bench they called the Scott curl why he likes it so much is because it kept the elbows still and as I was doing the Scott curl the other day, I, I realized why. I was like, man, this must be why he loved the you know the preacher bench so much because the, it keeps the elbow so still. And that's exactly why he had the best arms anybody's ever known. When we think of arms, we don't think of Arnold. We think of Larry Scott had the best arms. So what you need to start doing, if you really want to get your arms to grow, you... It, you're gonna reach a certain point in your training where you know compound movements like barbell curl, dumbbell curl, you know where you're doing it standing or seated or you know things of that matter. They won't they won't work as well unless you modify them. Because I was at my point where I was building on you know, my foundation, I was working on my cheating curls, my barbell curls, my seated dumbbell curls. But it wasn't until I started to implement this method where I saw the most results in my biceps. And when I started doing this, I got so many messages about, dude, how did you get how did you get your arms to grow so freaking fast? And I was like, I just started to isolate them even more because I took it a step further. I was using, you know, I was using proper form, I was using a good amount of weight, I was contracting, I was getting the negative perfect and all that stuff. But I wasn't seeing the results I desired. I was like, I need I know I could see more growth. How do I do it? And this is exactly why people pay people who are incredibly well, you know, are incredibly efficient at helping someone really isolate the muscle group. 
So this is what I'm gonna do for you. In the next slides, I will show you exactly what I mean. I will show you some movements that are that work incredibly well to really isolate the movement. Because there's two ways, and actually there's five ways, but in, in this video I wanted to just show you just two. The first one's gonna be the lap, the, you're gonna be using that lap pull down machine, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in the next slide. The next one is also obviously gonna be the skull curl, which is a great movement to really isolate the biceps. All right, so now I can't teach you, can't talk you through it here, so then I'll just see you in the next video. All right, so welcome to the demonstration part of the video. Here we go, we're here we are at the lat pull down machine. You're probably wondering, why are you at the lat pull down machine? Now I told you about how Steve Reeves had that extra part built into his incline bench, right? Now a lot of us, we can't really build that or we really have the technology. We have the technology, but you know, no one wants to build it because they see no purpose in it. Anyways, I replicate the same sort of movement instead of in being on an incline it's sort of you know like a seated dumbbell curl but i go to that pull down machine and i pull the pads up you know where your knee's supposed to go where it keeps your knees from flying up and up and down on the machine and i brace my elbows against it and this really isolates the movement it's almost like it's exactly the same thing almost like the arm blaster the arm blaster is great for really isolating your arms because it keeps your arms still you can even do curls against a wall to keep your elbows incredibly still. But I found this is one. This is a great way because with dumbbells, I feel like I can get a better range of motion because I could supinate the arm. I can really, and especially because dumbbells work incredibly well for symmetry because you can work one side at a time. Sometimes if your left arm is bigger than the right, you can you know start off with your right instead of the left. So this is the I'm replic replicating the same movement that Steve Reeves had on his had, his on, had on his incline bench by just bracing my elbows against the elbow pads of the lat pull down machine. And I really focus, you know, on concentrate on flexing the biceps, controlling the negative, alternating. And I cross my legs. The reason I cross my legs, you may think that's a little bit funny, but it's 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 a Vince Gironda method because when you have your legs both down, you know, your knees flat, you, sometimes the dumbbell tends to slap against your thigh and that really bothers me because I'm like trying to focus on training my biceps and I, and I'm getting slapped by the dumbbell. So I cross one leg over the other. Now you may think that's funny, but it's an old school tip. It's another old school technique that I didn't intend to include this video, but it actually ended up happening. But in the next move I'm gonna show you is great for also isolating the biceps. All right, so here you see me performing a set of Scott curls. It's a natural way, it's already set up. And keeping the elbow still, all you gotta do is just jump on that bench and start doing the curls. You can see why Larry Scott loved this you know, bench because and he had the best arms and it makes so much sense because he kept the elbow still and it, it, that's why he spent so much time on it and that's how he saw so much results. A lot of people can argue, oh, it's just the steroids. Yes, it is, you know, the, he did use steroids, but again, he had the best arms in history and he spent a lot of time on the preacher curl. That's always keeping the elbow still, all right? So guys, if you haven't already checked out or picked up a new copy of my ebook called Silver Secrets, check it out. It's incredibly good. I've been getting lots of great feedback, five-star reviews. Link is in the description. That being said, subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Old School Dan. I'm gone. Peace.